find number of find number of zeros at the end of the product of first 50 prime numbers or first 5000 prime numbers number of zeros at the end of any product first of all how would you find the end digit for any product let's take, take an example 273 into 548 you can multiply and find but to find the unit digit or the end digit you just need to multiply the last digit of these two numbers so 8 3s are 24 so 4 will be the answer if I just want to know the unit digit of a multiplication, we just take the unit digit of each number and we multiply. That's it. Now, how would you get zero here? You may get a zero if at these two places, if any one of them has a zero here, you will get a zero. Like 270 into 548. Obviously, it will come zero. It will have a zero in the end. The product will have zero in the end. But the prime numbers never have a zero in the end. So, that possibility is gone. What are the other possibilities? See, 2 into 5, how much is it? 10. So in the product, 0 will come in the last place, 0 will come in the end. Okay? This is the only other way of finding a 0. This is one way of 0, like one of them is 0 or both are zeros. And the other way is one digit has 2 and the other digit is 5. So 2 into 5 is 10. So in the product, in the end, we will have a 0. Now, is 2 a prime number? Yes. Is 5 a prime number? Yes. This is the only possibility which will yield a 0 for a multiplication. Now, if I try to write the 5000 prime numbers, which number would I start with? The first number would be 2, second one would be 3, next one would be 5, next one would be 7, and so on. Do I really need to go further? No, because there is only one pair of 2 and a 5 that is there in this. No next number, none of them will be divisible by 5 or, or, or 2. Right? That means there is only one possibility of a pair of 2 and 5. You know, we can, we can always write it as 2 into 5 and then all other prime numbers. See, please understand that whether you take 50 numbers or 500 numbers or 5000 prime numbers, this part is not going to make any difference because that will not have a 0 in the end in the product. Alright? Because 0 will come only because of 2 into 5. And there is no other prime number which is a multiple of 5 or a multiple of 2. No other prime number which will be a multiple of 2. It can't be a multiple of anything for that matter. Alright? So there will be only one zero. So it is like 10 into a number n. So product of this whole thing. And that n, we know for sure that it will not have a zero in the end. Right? Because they all these all these things will be 3, 7, 9. You know, you must see that other than 2 and 5. Every other prime number has to end in either 1 or 3 or 7 or 9. All the other prime numbers other than 2 and 5 will always end in either 1 or 3 or 7 or 9. Why? Because if they end in 2, they will be dissolved by 2. If they end in 5, they will be dissolved by 5. So they will not remain a, a prime number. Okay? So, so they have to uh, end only in 3, 7, 9 or 1. But their product will not have a 0 in the end. So 10 into n, whatever it is, there will be only one zero in the end. So the answer is one. What was the question? Number of zeros. So the answer is one. Right? Just try and understand. Repeat the video once again. The, uh, or I'll just repeat a little bit. A 10 can be related only by a product of 2 and 5 if it comes to prime numbers product. Out of the given prime numbers, whatever you do, there is only one 2 and then only one 5. So there will be only one pair of 2 and 5 that is possible. Hence, there is only one zero that is possible in the end of this product. Okay.